Okay, back to Graveyard Keeper. Let's see, burial certificate, boards. Ah, ancient keys to the prison cell. I should probably teleport over to the Talking Skull then. Get that cash money. Full gold coin. I actually got plenty of drink to sell. Here, have some ancient keys. Whoops. Right. Uh, put them in there then. Was I supposed to meet Kokul somewhere? I forgot what the quest was. Ask about, okay, improve the tables and chairs and then return to him. Right, I never actually returned to him after improving the tables and chairs. And he's got a, ah. All right, well, maybe I can find the shepherd today. Ugh, so much screen tearing. some of those butterflies. Alright, so theoretically he should be standing there. At some point. Ah, there he is, finally. Get on. You don't leave your house without you. weapon, Keeper. These days we must be on the lookout. Evil is everywhere. No kidding. Tell me, what do you know about a woman in a black and gold cloak? Is she a werewolf? An evil spirit? A rider with burning skull instead of his head? She might be a vampire, but I'm not sure. Then let's go kill her, dissect her, and find out. Well, she was around 30 years ago. But who knows where she is now, or even if she's... Or if she's even alive. A black and gold cloak, you say? I remember one fresco. I was admired when I visited the town cathedral as a child. It was called Master vs. Vampire Queen. And that queen wore a cloak like the one you mentioned. Vampire Queen? Um, that sounds... terrifying. Who else might know about this Vampire Queen? Who is so comfortable dealing with the undead? Jerry! Eh, yeah, while I'm here I might as well drop off the burial certificate. buy stuff from you and sell it at my tavern when I run an event. I should do that. I should probably do that. Alright, Jerry is down this way. Oop, I'm out of carrots. I should probably refill that. Don't want to waste this prayer for repose. Also, zombie farms. Could make a few of those. Just uh, remove this, put like four more, put the nine beds up on the top. Harvest that first. Move. 
this. This, 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 and this. So I can get several different crops growing at once. Theoretically. And I'd much rather have the zombies on the bottom. iron parts. Zombie farm. Put you right there. Star fertilizer again. Oh, right, yeah. The whole point was that I was uh, grabbing carrots. Grab that. Put away the maggots. Grab one thing of carrots. into the beer production area. Need to get more water. Jerry, about the vampire queen. Jerry, have you ever met a woman in a black and gold cloak? That's a pretty funny question to ask a guy with amnesia. Partial amnesia. So have you heard anything about the vampire queen? Or I've heard some things. In fact, that was the lighthouse keeper's ex-wife's nickname when they played private games at home. Jerry, please stop making jokes. This is serious. You're talking to the wrong guy. There are only two reliable sources of hard facts. Town housewives and ghosts. Can't reach town, Jerry. Come back tomorrow, and meanwhile, we'll chat up the local ghosts. I'll have you know, this is skull exploitation. By the way, what's with the new smell? Is it cloves? It's disgusting. <laughs> Damn. 
They are really hammering home the fact that she sprayed the Graveyard Keeper with perfume and that's doing stuff. There we go. Ah, right, yeah. Teleport to the mountain fort. Yo, what up? Free service awaits you. Is that enough? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, okay, don't turn white. Take your pickaxe. Oh, good. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's just part of a pickaxe. does nothing. Grab that. Oh wait, no. Grab that. Do you have any idea what I had to do to get this pickaxe? Mm, no idea. I'm so tired. So very tired. Two years later. So this is after the Necronomicon is written. My subjects, we've fought for many long years, and, and, citizens, nobody's seen a piece of paper with some writing, no? So there you have it. The pagans and their ancient gods are no more. Let the rem remnants lurk among the swamps. The war is over. I, King Jove, thank you all. You're free. Wait, there's one last thing. We must destroy the ancient bridge. Er, uh, Pontiff Lucius, but then how will we go to the land of the dead? We don't need to. Our way now leaves the Sky Realm as a new god. I can't read that. Uh, mm, it's too complicated. I'll describe it in a special holy book. So let's destroy the bridge. Who among us is courageous enough? I repeat, who? Whose faith is strong enough? <laughs> Bloody quitters. And look upon me, the new god. I sacrifice the final symbol of the old faith. On three, one, two, three. Ah, so that's what the bridge is. No wonder it never went anywhere. <laughs> that was a mistake. A big mistake. Why do you say that? Oh, sorry. Let's watch some more. But anyway, those guys, Jove and Lucius, are cool. For nothing, they rose up to become king and pontiff. Mm, you smell like honey. You having a nice rest? Very nearly. I almost ate Dig's poisoned cake. Oh, he's crazy. Don't pay any attention to him. Ouch. Ah. Oh. Ah. No more, please. No more. Oof. That hurts. Do it again. Good news, Radric. Today is your final torture session. King George ordered you burned as a heretic. Thank God. I'll warm up at least. This apartment. It's a little cold down here, Lucius. Oh, an 
In any case, I have my offer for you. Rather than throwing you in the fire, I'll let you be bishop and give you anything you could want. Just answer one question. Where's their swamp camp? I'd rather become barbecue than be your bishop, Lucius. So I see. We'll see if your sense of humor helps you tomorrow, Horadric. I'm so sorry I didn't come earlier. They wouldn't let me. I heard you came to them and gave yourself up. But why? I've been a soldier for all those orders, so don't let it trouble you. What's new, Creswold? Repression, trials, executions. It's the same thing every day. The people are scared. Some have even left the town. And, hmm, the walking dead have appeared around their cemeteries. <laughs> what a glorious new world that we helped to build. Roderick, I... What the hell? I don't want to see you burning on the bonfire. Then you'll just have to close your eyes, Creswold. Oh hey, the red-eyed man held me here after the great blast. Because I told the keeper something I was forbidden to tell. And was forbidden to tell the keepers. Uh, I forgot. It doesn't matter. So, after that he buried me. And you dug me up. The end. Okay. Get that money. One, two, three, four, five more, it looks like. That yeah, could be four. Oh, hey. Clay pot of tar. Yeah, it works. Finally, concerning the invasion of the Walking Dead. I, King Jove, hereby forbid everyone from speaking or thinking that it could be because we destroyed the ancient bridge. I decree that you believe it's the new god's wrath because the pagans still live. Burn them all! Traitor, be a good fellow and repent before you die. Well, yes, I do deserve death. I'm a traitor indeed. I couldn't be with my beloved because of the ancient god. And then I helped summon the master from the portal. Heresy. The master came down to us from the sky in answer to our prayers. I grow tired. Burn him and let's go home. Wait, Roderick's right. The master appeared from the portal. I saw it myself. Resvold, stop. How dare... Also, the master rejected all religion. How could he become a god? Heresy. Treason. Guard, seize Creswold. Lucius, your face looks funny when you yell. Ah, who turned out the lights? Roderick, stop twitching. I'll cut off your arm instead of the rope. Creswold, I'm blind. Ah, as usual. I rescued him from the fire and he's still not satisfied. Bingo. So, are we gonna run or are we gonna wait around for them to get sight back? By the way, have you heard of the story about King Jove, Jove the First? No, I haven't. Listen, he ruled a long time. Incredibly long. So his impatient heir had to cut off Dad's head. But he was greatly afraid of his dad's resurrection. So he ordered Dad's head to be buried separately from his body. <laughs> An amazing story. What does the machine say? It says priestess's ring, and it belongs to the farmer's wife. She's dead, right? I'll try to talk to the farmer. Anything else? Ah, uh, yes, the priest's signet. Old Dig has it. So, it seems pretty obvious at this point who Jerry is. Because he just spelled it out. Spices and preservative... I don't need spices. They're completely useless to me. I can't even sell them. I actually forgot I had that one.
I don't want to have to walk all the way back here. After walking all the way to the farmer. I'll probably need to teleport home, get an exhumation permission, and then dig up the corpse in the miller's field. Yo. See ya. Man, he sleeps in. Come on, Diogenes. Get out of your barrel. Man, he sleeps in. Well, I can buy some seeds from the farmer. I think I need cabbage and turnip beet. Yeah. seeing your smelly beard here every day. <laughs> Just one question I'll stop bothering you. For now. No, I don't know. Ask faster, I'm missing my work. <laughs> About your wife. Do you know? No, mm, None of your damn that. business. Lay off. And stay away from me. Oh, yeah. mm. You hear me? Stay away. <laughs> Why do you grow so pale? Maybe his son will be more talkative. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Wheat, carrot, cabbage. Yeah, beet seeds, cabbage seeds, I'll just buy all of them. <laughs> Small boy draws smiling faces in soil. Two inquisitors approach him and say something. He runs into his house. Farmer leaves his home and starts arguing loudly with his visitors. They point to the nearby window from time to time. In the end, Farmer grabs a pitchfork and confronts them. The Inquisitors quickly leave. A pale and thin woman appears at the door. She looks gravely ill. Farmer embraces her gently, calms her, and leaves her back inside. Ah. Wait, where'd the sun go? He's usually right there. Ugh. No one is where they're supposed to be. Alright. Teleport back to the talking skull. Dig's still not there. I'll have better luck tomorrow.
Okay, cabbage seeds and beet seeds. Teleport up to the refugee camp. Might be able to do something up here. Yeah, I can make the tent. Nice. Task completed. for a bit. Start you producing cabbages instead. Yeah, you got plenty of food. Everyone is gone for some reason. Yes, now you need an inspiring bronze statue the size of my church. Or maybe tons of politically correct literature for the baby donkeys. Oh, I know, you need a gold sarcophagus with a glass cover for every donkey who participated in the revolution. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. The thing is, we failed, my dear comrade. Hmm, never seen him so oppressed. He's about to cry. What happened? The rats seized power and our post office had declared a military dictatorship. And now the donkey's situation is worse than bef it was before the revolution. So what are you gonna do? The only thing I'm good at is ca the only thing I'm any good at. Bring you corpse and eating carrots. Hmm. Maybe it's it's not as bad as you think. My carrots are quite tasty and. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about the corpse. Well, it's too decayed by now to revive as a zombie. Good intestines. I'll toss those into the good organ pile. I still haven't found any good hearts. Uh, dark brain, fat, skin, heart, flesh. Whoop. The heart can go in the average organ pile. Mm. This heart and this heart aren't even really average. Remove the blood. fat. Remove the skin. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be any good. Build another place for burning corpses. Drop off that, drop off that. Organ gets ground down into powder, and heart gets turned into extract.
get a couple more of these potions. Solution out of moth. Right, blood and fat I probably should have dropped off while I was down there. Fat and skin at least. This I can give to what's his name? Life powder, death extract, yeah, I need to put that in the container. already so hopefully the farmer's son will be in front of the farm he's usually there in the morning at least yeah Seems like father's mood today is even worse than usual. I asked him about your mother and he became strangely upset. He loved mom so much. She was so beautiful and kind. She was weak. She was often sick and sometimes fainted. It was her heart wrenching it was heart wrenching when she died. Father has been grieving ever since. I see. Hmm. His uncle de Miller must know more. to compete with my rats? You're welcome to try. Could you tell me something about your brother's wife? Well, she was a healer. An amazing healer. An amazing beauty. My brother fell in love with her after she saved his life. Because of her incredible skills, people sometimes said she was a witch. Mm, you should ask Klonto in the swamp. She might know more. Ugh. Well, may as well drop off the burial certificate while I'm here. Bee poison cake? Was it tasty? Of course. I've nearly died of pleasure. Dig, you have a certain trivial thing. The priest's signet. It's certainly not very tasty. Do you mind if I take it? Actually, it is pretty sweet. Every morning I dip it in honey and lick it. Listen, the whole village is going crazy over your rat races, and I want to get in on it too. The lighthouse keeper has the best racing rats. Bring me one, and I'll find something else to lick. to the lighthouse. Again? Whatever you suspect me of, I'm not guilty. In fact, today I'm the victim. What happened? No fish? Some boy from the town was walking by us the lighthouse, playing his pipe. And as he left, all my trained rats went away with him. Damned. I really wanted to borrow a rat. Poco sells rats. But don't tell anybody I told you. Oh man, fetch quests. All right, well, I can get to the swamp before nightfall, and then during nightfall, I can go up to the mountain fort and talk to Kokul. 
and then it's probably time to call it. Yo, what up? So, so do you, did you know the farmer's wife? Oh, Maybe you could play me one little compliment first. I've been so lonely in this swamp. Oh, okay. Well, so your chin is so attractive. All three of them. Oh, my dear, you're so cute. All right, listen. I knew the farmer's wife better than any other. Bella was my sister, along with Chain. They both left me here and moved to the village. Both even got married. Bella overused her magic in curing people and in bearing a son and daughter. We are immortal, but using magic saps our health. Oh. Bella lost her health and died. What about you? You you, you also use magic. Oh. If I, I take a cure, it damages my memory, but it saves me. That's a sad story. I've heard enough. It's time I return to the farmer. Alright, he should be back over here. Yo. I already asked you to lay off. What more do you want? I just want to say that I sympathize with you and your loss. Your wife is an amazing woman. Her death is a real tragedy. You know, the Inquisitors once spoke of burning her as a witch. By then she was sick a lot, so I asked her to stop curing people. She said, so many people can be saved in exchange for one life. He's crying. Better leave him alone for a bit. Her magic to bear the daughter she always dreamed of, and it killed her. I know. Listen, I need your wife's ring. Could you sell it to me? She had two identical rings. One is in her grave in the field. The, not, the other is the only thing she left me. Here, have a whole gold. I always wanted our son to study at the university. I'll spend your gold on that. Thank you, my friend. And it's way too early for that. I guess I need to use the simple rod if I want to catch frogs. And I'm out of alcohol. Listen, the farmer's wife is Bella. Bella? Closo and Chain's priestess sister? Exactly. Here's her ring. Also, sister, let's go home. We'll talk, and then we'll get you a sedative. We've betrayed our god, Bella, and must be punished. All of us. Also, killing a thousand people at once is a bad idea. It sure is. That's why I'll read the spell three times, so we'll kill three thousand at once. Everything is ready. Time for the Necronomicon. What? My lord? Did I misread the page? My former priestess, how dare you trouble me? And I, no, it wasn't me. I'd never. Ah, Diggis tricked me. This ritual is supposed to kill all our foes. 
I was right, ancient god. I switched the ritual so I might speak with you. Listen to me, you're our last hope. The ancient bridge is destroyed. Our dead remain here as zombies. They're killing people, and nobody can stop the madness. This no longer concerns me, mortal. Really? Soon there won't be anybody left to pray to you, and then you'll vanish. You've already grown you already grow weak. Otherwise you could have resisted my ritual. Besides, your eye is twitching. Do you want to keep watching? I feel like this thing is mocking me. Where am I in these images of the past? Maybe it's broken? Maybe. Or maybe I have no past. And that grave somehow, hmm, gave birth to me. Blah blah, nothing useful. Ah. Still hope. Well, this isn't complete yet. <laughs> I'm running out of patience. Alright, well. I have no more alcohol to serve, so I should probably do something about that. Hey! Wow, you there with the hump! Look here, look at my collection! It's inspiring to see just hunchbacks walking about. I'm interested in rat races. Oh, I see. All my rats have been sold. It's all thanks to my business partner, Piper. He gathered everyone else's rats in the area and sold them to the town zoo. All the rat trainers lined up to give me their mo to give me their money for my rats. And my best rat was sold to hmm, the Gypsy Baron. All right. Excuse me, could you lend me your rat? I need it for the race. My rat? Hmm, but I didn't buy it as a race rat. Look at him. Have you ever seen such wise eyes? Or such a clever face? This rat is the chosen one. He'll be the keeper of all the gypsy people's knowledge. One day I will die, and it will be my duty to share with this rat all that I know. Okay, I hear you. So how much gold do you want? Well, no, you're talking. One gold in this rat is yours. Okay, here you go. Good doing business, my friend. I got plenty of gold from all that wine. Hopefully Dig's not asleep already. Yeah, so close. Okay. Here's your super rat. Wow, ah, cool rat. Hooray, here comes my debut. Thank you, my boy. I'll, I'll double your take for the next race. Yeah. Excellent. I also need your signet. What? What signet? Your signet. The signet that you like to lick. Like a signet? Yuck. Who thought of that? Oh, dear. Just give it to me. Take it. Of course. I was just going to throw it away in any case. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's so funny to pretend to be a psycho. It's a strange world. The only way a wise man can survive is pre by pretending to be a psycho. Couple more mods. Oop. Rat races. The whole village has gone crazy over them. It's too bad nobody takes bets from talking skulls. The contract is ready. When you sign it, this world will be bound by it. If the contract is violated, the ancient curse will return. We're ready. Then begin, as we rehearsed. Peace, not war. Faith, not heresy. Oops, sorry, he's mute. Freedom, not prisons. Forgiveness, not revenge. Hope, not despair. And the ships of the dead, not walking dead. The guarantor of the contract is the graveyard keeper. All signers are immortal as long as the contract is valid. And the last one, the truly guilty men will be punished. 
Their lost souls will be bound to their dying flesh forever. Oh, I don't envy those truly guilty men. And you'll have to rebuild the village again. But remember about fire safety. Father, you make it sound like you're leaving. Religious conflicts, bloodthirsty priestesses, and red-eyed gods are too much at my age. Plus, there's still so many sweets I must try. Damn that red-eyed bastard. I knew it. I knew. I didn't understand. Why? Why? Jerry, calm down. What are you- Joe, you became like a walking corpse because of these scum. Eternally rotting flesh, the hellish pain, it was their punishment. Joe couldn't even kill himself, he could only drink. Jerry, Jerry, I can't- <laughs> what a perfect joke. Joe's son actually helped him when he cut off his head. I'm so tired. It's too hard. Let's try one last time. Are you sure? Yes, a brick from the church. Go, please. Back home. Alchemy recipes. Black paint and freshener. Alright. Toss those into the chest. And call it there. <laughs>